Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, I'm the Portrait Ambassador for Olympus UK, and this is a festive themed portrait. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I've got a rather interesting background made of real candles. A word of warning, if you are going to use real candles in your shoot, be prepared. We've got a bucket of water and a fire extinguisher to hand. And I've got a present for my model to be holding, which is this little box here. Now, this mystery box inside of here, there is a bag, and inside of the bag, is an Olympus FL700R flash. That little flash is going to do a couple of things. It's going to make this box come alive with some exciting lighting, but it's also going to be a light modifier to light our model. But before we get to that, we need to sort a few things out. So let's get a model in, let's get shooting. So to help me out today, I've got the amazing Fern. Fern's going to be the model for this shoot, and I'm going to lose my Christmas hat for now. So let's start by taking a picture as we are here with the room lights on and that rather fantastic background. Now I'm using my Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III and the 25mm f1.2 lens. So I'm going to be in aperture priority mode and because I've got a 1.2 lens I'm going to be at f1.2. Okay let's just take a picture like this fun. Let's see what we get. Well, we get an exposure that is not the fastest shutter speed in the world, but perfectly usable. Unfortunately, the picture lacks atmosphere. So to make this a bit more atmospheric, what we're actually going to do is turn the room lights off like this. So now we have a picture with much more drama and atmosphere. This feels much more festive and Christmassy. I'm going to work in manual mode from now on. I'm still going to be at f1.2. Let's work out the correct exposure, at least according to the camera which is apparently one and a third seconds handheld. So that works okay, but you're always going to get a bit of subject movement at that sort of shutter speed. And I think the candles are a bit too burnt out. So the solution for this is just take control. So I'm going to choose my own shutter speed. I'm going to say 15th of a second. Let's try that. Okay, Fern, here we go. So now the background is a lot darker, but still exciting and interesting. The only problem is, of course, we can't see Fern. Well, that's where the magic box is going to come in. So I've given Fern the magic box. And remember, inside of that is the FL700R flash. Now to control it, I've got the Olympus remote control. That allows me to remotely adjust the power of the flash if I need to. And of course, just fire the flash, which I can even do by pressing the, the test button. So what we're going to do is turn the room lights off and get Fern to slightly open the box. That's going to allow a little bit of the light out. So that's going to give us some effect of a lit box, but also that light should light Fern. How much light? Well, I'm going to put it down to its lowest possible power, 1 128th. Let's try this. Here we go, Fern. And when we do that, we can see that we get just a little bit of light on Fern's face, which is kind of fun. Now, if we ask Fern to open the box just a little bit more, we'll get a little bit more light out. So this is working really well, but the light that's coming out of the box doesn't really match the light from the candles. So I'm going to use a little bit of an orange gel just to make the flash be closer in white balance to the candles. OK, so the gel's in place. Let's turn the lights out and try this. Here we go. That's great. So we could stop there, but to really give this a bit more of a dramatic effect, I'm going to use some of this. So this is smoke in a can, and I'm going to put this inside of the box. So when Fern opens the lid of the box, smoke will come out and that will be lit by the flash as well. So I'm going to add this into the box. Fern's going to close the lid. That's trapped inside the box. Let's turn the room lights out and take a couple of shots like this. Ready? Okay, go for it. Open the box. Blow inside. Look, oh, wow. So there you go, that's my festive portrait shoot done. The end result is beautiful pictures, and hopefully, it's inspired you to have a go yourself. I'm Gavin Hoey. Thanks for watching.